welcome back to another video in the last video we were able to finish off um, working on the authentication feature of the app so a user can now log in they can register and uh, we 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 using JWT for that so just a quick demo a quick demo of what we did if I come here let me just quickly register so after we are successfully registered we get this token here and if i quickly just go to the jwt website and paste the token we get the payload and the password is null if i try to register again with the same username we get uh this here username is already already exists if we try a username that does not exist and a gender that is invalid and hit send you see we get this error message here so let me try logging in let's try wrong username first email or password is incorrect and uh, try a valid username we get this token again and it's it has the same data if we change the password it's a wrong password we get this here cool so that's working now um in this video i want us to look at uh creating our own custom api responses right so if you look at uh, uh let me go to quickly let me quickly go to the controller so if you look at the alt controller we are repeating a lot of code here for example our api responses here and uh it's not a it's not a good thing to repeat code so it's better to write code in one place and then just reuse it in different places right so in this video we're just gonna be creating our own custom api responses and then <clears throat> we we will use those in other controllers that we're gonna be creating in the future right cool so this is going to be a middleware so I'll come here to the folders middleware create a new file and we can just call it custom api responses dot js right cool so um we need uh to create a function let me just call this custom api And like any other middleware, this function will take the request, the response, and the next function. Right. Right. And then right in right at the end, after everything has been ran, we need to call this next function. This here. Okay, cool. So the first um response that i want to create is the success in the 200 response All right so say res dot success we're creating a new function in this object here res which is the response is going to be equal to and we want to pass to this function we want to pass the results that will be sent to the client any data that we want to send to the client we need to pass it here so i'm going to call that data and it's a, a function all right so let me put a semicolon here and then we want to return return response dot status so we know that for every for every success h http response the status code will be 200 right so this 
we have 200 here and then for the data that we want to send to to um to the client will will be here so we want to send first of all let's send the data and we want to send a code of 200 and then we want to send a flag success is going to be true so once we so this will allow us to do something like um if, if i come here i can say res dot success and this function will run right meaning that this data will be sent to the client right so let's go ahead and do um other responses so let's do um created which is 201 I'm gonna call this created which is gonna be 201 201 what else do we need to um, do we need we need to do um, unauthorized Again, we also want to pass the data and the unauthorized code. I think it's 400. I'm not. I'm not sure. 400 and success has to be false. We also need to do the conflict one, which is 409. I think it's 409. And it's also false uh, we also need to do forbidden I think it forbidden is 401 yeah um, you can you can look you can look this up and uh, just confirm before you, you 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 add the numbers so we said this is conflict con flicked and forbidden for one for one here as well and this needs to be false what else do we need um not found which is 404 found we we will use these functions in a bit which is also false and then um, we also need the 501 the internal server one so let's do internal server 500 500 now let's go ahead and save this uh, so we need rest here save just to confirm all right cool <clears throat> so we can run any function here after this has been run we need to run the next function so that so that uh, the process the process will continue so we need to export um, all these functions here. So module. Custom API responses. Save that. Now we need to go to the routers. The main router file, which is the index. If you come to routes, index. We need to tell this router to use um, our custom 
API responses that we just created just now. Right, so um, to do that, just one sec. We need to come here and import the routers. I'm just gonna call it custom API responses because remember the routes are the ones that are responsible for responding to the client so yeah let's let's just require go to middleware custom API responses cool now we can say um, router dot use custom API responses which is this now once we do this that means res now has all of those functions that we just created right so let's try this one here if email already exists now remember if i mean if the username already exists um we tried registering with the username that already exists let me just do this try to register okay try to register again now you see we, we only get these two properties here the success is false the error is username already exists right so we we're no longer going to get this error because our custom routes has data instead right so this is this is any data that we want to pass to the client be it an object or just a simple string everything is, is going to be under this data um data property Okay, so let's come back here. So if the username already exists, that means that's a conflict, right? So we can just simply say res.conflict and then we can just pass the string that says username already exists. And this 409 and four's flag will be handled by that function that we created. So we no longer need this. So I'm gonna call, I'll go, go ahead and save. Wait for the server to refresh. And come back here to Postman. And if I hit the same routes again, now you see, okay, it says, sir, <laughs> his name already exists. But uh, we are get like the function is working now, our custom, our custom API response is working. I just need to fix one thing here. Username already exists. So we know that these functions are working now. So now we need to, like here, this is the 2011. Success is true and data needs to be the token. So we can just say res.created and the data that we are passing has to be the token now we no longer need this save and uh this is the internal server one did we create not found okay internal internal error yeah let's just call this internal error dot internal we call it internal error and we want to pass the, the message of the error save and I'm gonna try okay let me register first and see what happens register with a new user 
see if we do get the token and we do get the token but now it's under data and if i look at the token go to jwt the username is cviewer12 and everything works perfectly so so now let me try uh to create an internal server error um how do okay let me remove this y here and save and then let's try to register again now if i register you see cannot destructure property username of red.bod and the server is still running it it hasn't been crashed it, it it did not crash and that's because of this try and, and catch um blocks right and we are getting the correct the the correct status code which is internal server error um yeah so yeah so that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you guys you need to do the same thing here in the logging function and uh going forward we're not gonna be doing this anymore because we now have our custom api responses here so we're gonna be using those going forward i hope that this video has been um educational i hope that you learned something and uh yeah stay tuned uh we are gonna be building more features to this api blog app yeah uh don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video